Right, you guys got another video here for you. This one's on the RoboCopy command, which is in Windows Vista and Windows 7, and it allows you to copy files or data from one location to another, or even across a network. It's a very powerful tool and a very useful uh, tool to have. Um, now, let's have a look at the sort of objective, what we're going to be trying to do here. We're going to be copying this data folder with all these ISO images from this location to another location or another partition in our archive folder. Now you could set this up and uh, we're going to be doing this in uh, command prompt and I'll try and take it nice and easy so you can see what I'm doing. But if you're not familiar with the command prompt you can also use a GUI interface which Microsoft set up. You can use that as well and also script files and bat files which we'll go through a little bit later on in the video. So let's get started anyway. So let's uh, type CMD in the run bar here, and I'm going to right click on this and run this as administrator. Now once we've got this set up, we need to put our command in. So what we're going to be trying to do here is set up our path, uh, our source and our target, and then copy the files across with one big long command. Now it's quite a hefty command, so I'll take it nice and easy so you can see. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is have a look at RoboCopy itself. And we can do that by typing RoboCopy space forward slash and then the question mark. And this will give us all our switches and stuff that we can use in this. And as you can see, there's a hell of a lot. And that's because it's a very powerful tool. Okay, there's also a mirror, mirror uh, command there. There's also a, for, a switch for uh, restartable mode which allows you to restart if it fails it will automatically restart itself and start up It'll also copy um, files across um, some subdirectories and stuff like that and any stuff that's already copied across it can ignore that there's loads of little things you can do set up monitor switches timing switches and also loads of other stuff okay as you can see mirror MIR there's quite a lot and we'll try and cover some of this in this video so let's get started anyway so come down to here and type CLS clear screen and then we'll get started so the first thing I need to do is type robo copy and then we're going to put a space here and then I'm going to put a little speech mark there and I'm going to be putting the uh, location in where it is now this is quite a clever um, clever tool so you don't really need to always do this but I'm going to be doing it just to show you exactly so you don't get any uh, mistakes happening so we've got the actual uh, location where we're going to be typing out okay so I want to make sure that I put all that in there documents and mine is in data remember so I need to make sure that I put data in there now you need to make sure that you've got the actual path right and exactly how you uh, want it so what I want to do here is put the end of the speech mark there and space and then I want to do another one and I also want to do x colon backslash and then archive okay this is where the target is where I'm going to send it to okay so the first one's the source and the second one is the target where we want to go now once we've done that we can now start putting our switches in and the switches I want to use are forward slash e okay you can either put them in capitals if you want or lowercase it doesn't really matter and I uh, also want to do a copy all so you can put them in capitals like so if you wanted to and uh, E is basically copy all the subdirectories even the empty ones and also copy all is copy all the attributes okay so forward slash and we want to do uh, XO like so XO is basically excludes all the older files if they're already existing on that other destination so if they're already there it will ignore them by using that uh, path there and I'll show you a little bit more later on you'll see what I mean and uh, the next one we want to do is log and then we want colon and then we want a speech mark we're gonna call this a uh, robo log something like that dot text something along them lines you can call yours whatever you like really but that just gives you a general idea so Z now Z is uh, copies uh, in restartable mode which allows you if it falls over or fails uh, say you set this off at night time when you went home from work and you wanted to copy loads and loads of files across you could let them copy across and when you come back in the morning it may have fall, fallen over or failed 
uh, and it will give you a full report of what happens and also try to restart the copying process okay okay so what we want to do next is R and then colon 3 or 4 or 6 or whatever you want to do and this will allow you to give you a retry so it will try to retry and copy that file um, one or two or three or how many times you put in there the number you put in okay we're going to put retry three times and we also want to put the wait command in which or, or the switch I should say and you can put whatever, whatever you like here I'm going to put six and this is like wait up to uh, six seconds before you retry to copy that file okay and that's pretty much it really we can now um, just push enter and this will start to copy that file across so we'll let that copy across what it's doing so let's have a look at what's happening here and you can see it's now copying those files across and they're starting to go across there now like that pretty smooth pretty slick and pretty cool very easy now I did say uh, a GUI interface so I'll let that just finish off what it's doing there so I'm going to get the log file up and the log file it says it's in this location win32 now you can put a path to where you want to put that log file it just by default is putting it in there so I'll just quickly go and get that now uh, system32 I'm going to put R there and there it is there I'm going to paste that onto the desktop and there we have our report okay and it's saying Saturday gives you the time when it was copied it gives you the, the actual source and the destination it copies all files and it gives you the actual options that you used okay and then it will go through and it will give you all the actual information and you can see it saying so many percent and how many percentage has been copied across so obviously the more data you've got the longer it's going to take so you have to, have to be patient with it because it will give you a full report of everything okay when that's complete now I don't think that's complete yet it's not oh it is complete now and uh, once that's complete it'll give you a full full blow report of what's gone on and what's failed and what not okay so let's uh let's have a look at the GUI interface version and the GUI interface is pretty straightforward and you can get this from um, Microsoft as well and there you can see the path you can set it all up where you put the uh, path the source path and also the target path map drive um, go into the copy options and again all you need to do here really is put the switches in that you require now if you hover over uh, it will tell you exactly what it does which is very very useful so once you have set these up you can set up a bunch of scripts uh, for yourself and then just run these like I've done on the top here which is on I'll show you this in a second uh, so you can put in whatever you like here the, the mirror command here which mirrors all the directory tree and so on and once you go through that uh, drive mapping um, and also files gives you all the switches for there and uh, login and so on and so on okay you can set it all up and you can see um, basically some of the switches just hover over them and it gives you all that and you can also put the log path of what you want to call it and where you want to put it and um, the monitoring side of things which is pretty useful uh, monitors the source directory for changes um, as you can see here pretty much says it all all in the actual script there description you just hover, put that on and it will make changes to it and, and pull across what it needs to pull across which means it does it in uh, behind the scenes which is very very useful okay and uh, once you've done that you put save script and you save it and then it will actually put it uh, in a path which it will tell you the path it's going to put it in um, but if you look here I'll show you where it goes it goes in the roaming folder um, and there's a folder in there called uh, Microsoft Robocopy uh, GUI and there's a folder in there called scripts I'll just quickly show you that anyway um, so I'm going to go into users and then test and then app data you may need to show hidden files and folders uh, roaming and inside here 
Robocopy and their scripts and logs and everything else okay you can set it all up and this is where you will get your full blown report and you can see any errors and stuff like that and uh, you've got your script here as well which is another script basically that will be the script it's very very simple um, once you've got it all set up like this and you can set it up and just run that now if you did run this and just clicked on it it would actually copy that all across save you typing it all out very very useful indeed and very quick and easy to do my name is brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and i'll be making more videos again in the future got any video requests send me a message and i'll do my best to make that video for you so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now